You guys good? We're good. <laughs> Should have brought some Kleenex. I know. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to each other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to each other. Now there is no loneliness. You are two bodies, but there is one life before you and one home. When evening falls, you'll look to each other and there you'll be. And you'll take each other's hand and you'll turn together and look to the road you have traveled to reach this point. The hours of your happiness, it stretches far behind you. Your future lies ahead. A long and winding road where every turning means discovery. All the hopes, new laughter, shared dreams and adventures have just begun. each other for 24 years. <laughs> if you ask us what we are to each other, we're most likely to respond as, yeah, we're sisters. So of course, I was so excited to be able to witness uh, one of Anna's greatest thrills in life of falling in love with Sean. You see, Sean secretly loved Anna <laughs> for years. But you see, Anna had always told everyone, oh, Sean? Oh, he's just my friend. Anna had many suitors, <laughs> and Sean was well aware. But Sean always played it cool. He had a confident air about him the whole time. Sean would just be, you know what? Hit me up when things go south. <laughs> so once they took the leap to become a couple, those eight years ago, they have grown a wonderful bond that I didn't even know could exist. You ready to do this? Yeah. I just need to get this over with so I can relax. <laughs> Additionally, Sean has become a brother to me. He always offers his greatest outlook on life and provides his most heartfelt advice. As a couple, they not only demonstrate what unconditional love is, but also their actions show their endless support for one another. I also think about how these two live far beyond their expectations for the many roles that they play as son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, brother, sister, uncle, friends, aunt, <laughs> workers to young children at Camp Dottie, and wonderful pet parents of Simone and their newly acquired half-eared kitten named Chad. I cannot be prouder to call these two beautiful souls my close friends. So congratulations, Anna and Sean. <laughs> True Wordsmith. Uh, recently I have been inspired by one. Sean Moran and now Anna Moran are not only my best friends, but they are true lighthouses in my and many lives. If you have ever been lucky and fortunate enough to have been friends with either of them, truly, you know what it means to be blessed. I mean, had it not been for either of them, it's probably something they don't know, is that I wouldn't have graduated community college if it weren't for either of them. Something they have in common is that they both did my homework. <laughs> Anna did all of my French homework, and Sean did the rest of it. 
But eventually, Sean and Anna would confess to me very cautiously that they started dating, which is odd. I I don't have a reputation for reacting to anything. But <laughs> thank you, Table Six. <laughs> Uh, there was once a quote that resonated with me from an incredibly wise man who just wasn't very good at, at picking berries, it would appear. But I'd like to share that here. Happiness is only real when shared. And within Sean and his beautiful bride, Anna, I found nothing to be sure. So with that, I'd like to toast to the greatest love story I've ever known. Thank you for letting me be part of this day, your day. Sean and Anna Moran. take Anna to be your wife? Will you love, honor, and cherish her in good times and in bad? And do you promise to stay true to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Anna, do you take Sean to be your husband? Will you love, honor, and cherish him in good times and in bad? And do you promise to stay true to him as long as you both shall live? I do. By the power of your own love, I pronounce you husband and wife. Sean, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>